I successfully set up a network uh, on desktop 2 here, which is this. This is desktop 2. Like I can show you, I'm currently using my own app here as a screen recorder, but it's actually a, co a copier of the screen that is supposed to capture webcam events and security events over the screen. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to show you here what it means to do this. Like, we are writing files in this folder on this file right here. Okay, so we can go down. We can see that it's writing. Okay. It's writing. Okay, it's copying the screen and sending it to a network folder on C drive and we're sharing C drive on the network. Okay, and it is right here, desktop two. So it's over on this computer, from this computer via crossover Ethernet RJ45 cable. And we can simply put the screensaver on and lock this one up. And then we could access the network of what is being propagated. For instance, we can open the network here. And you can see this is the screen there, which is over here but it's a different color so it is, says public over here it says public look at the files in the background look at the files in the background same files check it out same files okay so it's taking a picture of that screen and sending it over the network so that is how you set it up i know how to set it up you got to open up all your resources you gotta make everything public, gotta shut down Windows Firewall. You gotta set up automatic uh, uh, IP addresses. You gotta set up um, sharing, share all your hard drive, your folders. Um, you gotta go through all the settings, make sure your ethernet is shared. Uh, you can connect to the internet, cause I'm also connected to the internet. It's all shared. And then uh, as long as it's encrypted, you know, there shouldn't be an issue with it. But like we're recording both screens. I'm recording the fact that we're counting these files accumulating over the network. It's sending them. We don't know how long it will do it, but we're also monitoring. So we're going to shrink that down. Shrink that down. Save this because this is the net network address. So we use C drive, not actually using the network function we're right here we're in, we're in we're sharing c drive on the de on desktop one and desktop two like we go down to desktop two it's also sharing c drive they both share their c drive and they both share all these other folders from, and they share it between themselves so like it does it is difficult to set up and it took me like two days to sit here and work with it uh, but it's making these these copies of user folders here as you can see, it's just copying this user folder. And each one of those are user connections to the network, uh, the files. I don't know why it's doing that. But on this computer, it, it shows both computers on the network. But on this computer, it actually doesn't. It only shows only, my, only this computer. So one is acting as a host. I think I might have accidentally set this one up as like a VPN or a host or something. So like I set up that, I don't know how it actually set up the settings because I can't see all of it. And this is what Microsoft is guilty of, is not showing you all the direct settings. They're hiding too much information from you, which is why <clears throat> you don't have control over your computer, which is bullshit from the start, uh, which means that you won't have any you won't be able to make any money off of a computer if you can't use it in full for what it's worth, okay? Like, it's really stupid to sit and draw little dumb pictures and write a couple little junk documents and print them off and save some fake files that get manipulated so bad that they don't matter in the, in the legal context. So, like, that's another issue is, like, how we validate files and Photoshops and fake files and fake law and all that. 
well, you know, there needs to be security, but it has to operate specifically. As long as we understand it, we can encrypt it and then, you know, we can have it under control under a specific firewall where the switch has to identify incoming connections. And then, you know, as long as the data, you know, the question is always communications data integrity. So like if somebody has all that information about your unique situation, then they can communicate anytime they want through, through what you call doors and holes. And they can just, if, it, if the code is received via computer, they can enter it at any time. But I can go over here like this. I can shut my Wi-Fi off. Make sure I'm not on the network. I'm still calculating on that network. Wi-Fi is not on. Okay, so I can minimize that. And that is 20. It's still counting over here. I'm making the file on this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. Close this, close this, and then I'm going to install, so this, this right here is a webcam app, I'm going to set it up, install a webcam app, it should be the latest, it might not be the latest version. It is packing on the data right now. So it's kind of taking some time here. So come on, go ahead, baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pet you nice and sweet, pet you 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 sweet. Okay, come on. <laughs> 